Get off. Pretty exciting day. It's got four brand new AGM six volts. They are 70 pounds a piece. Pretty excited. That's what we're gonna do today. Hook up some batteries. So I currently have two 6 volt batteries installed and they've worked actually really really well. I'm really happy with them, I have been, and they're still working really strong so there's really nothing wrong with them. The only reason I'm, uh, I'm changing out my battery bank is because I wanted more capacity and uh, for the past year or so I've been uh, trying to go back and forth in terms of what do I want to do, what kind of batteries do I want to get um, and I was hoping to actually double my capacity and I had some limitations because I have a small space to put the batteries in so I needed to find some that I could maximize my capacity but still get it in a small space and I uh, found these and these are actually um, AGM 6 volt batteries and uh, they're taller than my other ones so I'm able to get more capacity in a smaller space but they are also heavy so they're about 70 pounds a piece and in order to accommodate the weight I built a steel uh, reinforcing bracket that I mounted underneath the uh, storage compartment and actually mounted it and bolted it to the frame of the RV so that should give me plenty of support to support these uh, the weight of these batteries but yeah so these are 6 volt 225 amp hour uh, 6 volt batteries and they are AGM and uh, so together I should be able to get up to like 450 amp hours of capacity and uh, because these are AGM I should be able to uh, get a little bit of faster charging time because AGMs typically have a lower resistance than their standard flooded battery so um, I might be able to charge up a little faster which is uh, you know really beneficial especially when I have, uh, I'm charging from solar even this is uh, 450 amp hours, really my usable capacity here is half of that. And this is a mistake that some people tend to make is that you definitely don't want to charge or discharge your uh, battery bank down uh, below 50%. And actually I don't like to get below like 80% or 70%. So you know a total of about 225 usable amp hours that I'm ever going to actually use uh, within a day before I uh, discharge but that's really plenty for us. Let me show you quickly how I plan to hook these up so I can get that 450 amp hours in a series parallel uh, battery configuration. My goal is to get a giant 12 volt battery bank so in order to do that I'm going to have to hook these batteries together to create uh, a 12 volt battery bank. So what I'm going to do is hook it up in a configuration called Series Parallel. So these two batteries on the right are going to become one 12 volt battery. These two batteries on the left are going to become a second 12 volt battery. And then I'm going to join them together so together they're going to be one even bigger 12 volt battery uh, that's going to double the capacity. So in order to do that uh, I'm going to hook them up in Series Parallel. So to join these two 6 volts together I'm going to hook these up in series positive to negative and then I'm going to hook these two up in series positive to negative so these will become two independent batteries and then I'm going to hook them together in parallel to um, become one big 12 volt battery so for the sake of simplicity I'm going to go ahead and label these so this will be uh, let's see I got a sharpie here let's call this a1 and this will be a I'm gonna put this on the front so I know a2 and this will be a B so let's just say this is B1 and B2 okay so now even when I put them in the RV I need them set up this way so it's a uh, these Tags are going to be good to remember that. And these are going to fit in my storage bin uh, just like this. So to hook them up, I'm going to use these uh, cables. So first let's hook up these two in series. So I have 
the positive connection here, it's going to go to the negative connection here. Screw these in. Just going to do a little quick hook up here just for the sake of this uh, demonstration. And uh, I got these six inch uh, cables off of Amazon. I'm mean, sure you can make your own cables and I've done that. Um, I found these, these are pretty good quality. These are one aught uh, thickness cable, so pretty thick cable. I'm going to move these together so I can make sure the cables fit. And they're uh, nice and short. So I've hooked these up in series. So now I'm going to hook these two up in series to make the B battery. So if I were to take a voltage reading off of these two here, I should get 12.7 volts right now, 6 plus 6. And if I were to take a voltage reading from here, I should also get 12.7 or so volts. So these are now like two deep cycle batteries at 12 volts. So in order to connect them uh, in together now, I'm going to hook these two up in parallel. So first I'm going to hook up the positives together now. So instead of positive to negative, I'm going to go positive to positive. Okay. And it's kind of a tight little squeeze here, so it's kind of a weird bend in this uh, cable. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So there we go, we have our, our series parallel uh, battery configuration. Now when I hook it up to the RV, I'm going to hook up the negative lead to here and the positive uh, battery connection to here. So let's take a reading across these now. And now I have one big 12.8 volts DC. So one big 12 volt battery and that is fully charged. So uh, yeah, these came fully charged, pretty cool. So we got battery A, sort of, <laughs> battery B, and then parallel together, give me one big battery. I really need to get these installed in the RV now. It's starting to get a little bit dark outside and I wanna get these done today uh, because we are actually heading out in a couple of days uh, to do some dry camping. Uh, just for a few days around the Pacific Northwest here and I wanted to put these to the test but I gotta get them installed first to get the other batteries out. I hope this was informative for you. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and if this is your first time uh, visiting us here on our channel please subscribe and uh, there's lots of stuff coming so I hope this gave you some ideas for a, a project or some if you're working on your batteries and uh, I gotta go now so see you guys see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.